<laughs> That's something else. Yeah. Yes. What's I the name of the it. band? Adler. Where'd you come up with that? <laughs> it means eagle. Oh, yeah? In German. It yeah. really does? But I couldn't name the band the Eagles because, you know, yeah, there's no. already a great band called Eagles. <laughs> That's so we stuck with Adler. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Sounds Thank great. Thank you. I wanted you to play more of it, though. Oh, we will. We oh, will. Yeah. Cool. Good. Uh, we, we'll talk to you, though. This is the album's uh, titled uh, "Back from the Dead." Back from the Dead, which is Adler uh, and you have Adler lived, Adler back Steve from the Adler. Dead. You have lived. I have lived a life, like Frank Sinatra says, "If you ain't got no scars, you have not lived." And I am scarred head to toe. <laughs> head to toe. He's a head walking to scar. Toe. <laughs> yeah, so that they let uh, here in your bio it says he appeared on the second and fifth season of the reality yeah. TV show. Well, sometimes uh, you don't get rehab. it right the first That's time. That's right. And yeah. then it yeah. takes time to get it right. The fact yeah. that you were on two seasons of a rehab show and then on a spinoff, I was like, oh my God. This is, but you're okay now. You're doing oh, well. I'm doing great. I'm in awesome. that, that You was, can tell. Look at working yeah. out. Yeah. Well, working with Dr. Stuff. Drew is the best thing I, I, I ever did for myself. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of people you know, say that show, that it, it it's not real. Oh, and you're it's saying real. It, oh, it's, re real. it's real. It works. Oh, yeah. He puts you through the paces. Yeah, that's why I, I, the first time I did it, I got off of the heroin and crack, and but I was still drinking and smoking pot and, um, you know, uh, what they call it, pharmaceutical p pills. Sure. Pills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pills. Opiates. And um, so I went. He, you know, he said I could get. You know, he give me another opportunity to, you know, try and get it right. So I went in and tried to do. You know, yeah, you know, you got to take baby worked. steps. You can't quit everything at once. You got to mm. go to heroin and crack. Well, and you know, come back it, another season. It, yeah. it, it, like they say in, in AA, keep coming back. You yeah. Know, so if, if you if you just show people that care about you that you're making an effort. Yeah. Don't do anything for you. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Now, here's what I don't, not that we want to get, get too deep into this, but since you're here and I've never met anybody, to my knowledge, that has done heroin, uh, cocaine, or crack together, it seems counterproductive to me. Doesn't one take you up and one take you down? So if we're taking it, them both, it's, 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 it's insanity. It's, it's just it's, insanity. It's, it's just insanity. It's there's, like, there's nothing good about it. Um, it. It's a trap that's so hard to get out of. Right. Yeah. You know, it, it, it was but you a, got out. Put it this way, I wasted 20 years of my life. Yeah. 20 years, like, and it was over like that. Look, now I'm here. And You're here and you got many, many more. <laughs> it's a waste because you don't really remember that 20 well, years? Well, it's a waste because it, 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 there's you, you you lose all, you, you know, love. There's no love you can give. You can't give people love. You can't accept love. Um, I mean, you it's lost just a waste of time. Yeah. It's just a waste of time. Do you I mean, look back at... Pictures and not even remember. Oh God, I can't even look at him. It's frightening. It's like I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know this that. person. Wow. Yeah. I'm thankful but I got out of it. <clears throat> I'm a survivor. No doubt. So That's I got why it's that great. Going the, uh, for me. the name of the album, <laughs> "Back from the Dead," yep. where it's say, "Yeah, you're uh, you're born again." Just uh, and uh, now you have this uh, new album out. I, I saw the, uh, you at the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction. Yes, that was that was the greatest way for me to to end that chapter of my life, and this is my uh, the best way I can think of to start this new chapter of my life. Yeah, when you got to when you, when you took the mic to say something to the crowd, and uh, I, I can't remember what you said, but I was like, "Wow, that was great." When you remember what you said? Oh, of course, I said I, it was uh, Freddie Mercury. Yeah, so, uh, we are the champions. I've taken my bows oh. and my curtain calls. You brought me fame and fortune and everything that goes with it, and I thank you all. Oh, I got, I got <laughs> yeah. just got chills. It was amazing. I mean, it was it was great uh, watching Freddie uh, Mercury. Yeah, you yeah. guys uh, get inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and it's good to to see see you back and doing doing your own thing now. With well, it's this you new know, it's band. not you get your my own. In the other room. Exactly, it's not my own thing. Yeah, you know, I know. I, it's just I've always loved you know ever since I was a little kid playing sports. Being part of a team, yeah. yeah, you know, and I got such a great team over here. I got Aww. we got Johnny Martin, Lonnie Paul, and Jacob handsome? Bunton. My goodness, <laughs> oh, and sexy, and sexy they're guys. They're sexy as hell. That's if Johnny's the sexy Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, they're keeping and Lonnie's you a 115 pounder who could, who could bench 225 pounds. And they're keeping you in shape. Yeah, no, I, I have a great, great new team. Great, I have to let everybody in my past go. Well, yeah, you even can. even my family. I have to take a break. Start over. And, and, and you know, start thinking about myself, uh, take, you know, taking care of myself. When you sit down to write a song, and I'm always, I always ask musicians this just because I'm fascinated you, by you it. You should ask Lonnie. When, how long? When you sit down, if you have an idea, you're laying in bed at night and you're like, <laughs> something's that you got the lyrics in your head. How long does it take to sit down and to, to get a song, to write a song? I, I don't know. You don't write songs I don't know. I, 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 write, I write swing. I'm a swinger. I write, the, I write, I write grooves. Oh, okay. As Lonnie and Johnny, those guys, you know, they write music. Oh, song ideas just come to us, you know. 
uh, we'll be laying in bed and something will come up. And uh, my girlfriend said, where are you going? Well, I got this idea I got to put down real quick. And you got to do it now, otherwise the next it's day you're like... exactly right, because I have a really terrible memory, yeah. so I forget about it's it. It's titled, You're a Snoring Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you go with those lyrics? I'm smothering you with hey, my Hey, you pillow. restless legs! <laughs> you're keeping me up all night! <laughs> <laughs> so, so you guys, uh, you met up with Steve. How long have you guys known each other uh, before you formed the band Adler? Uh, well, this is Lonnie speaking. I, I met Steven two weeks before his last Adler's Appetite tour. Uh, I met him in the studio. A friend of mine was the other guitar player. Uh, and then Steven and I went out for two months and became fast friends. Came back, and that's when he let everybody go. And we, uh, the two of us, started this new band. We met Jacob Bunton through the guy that mixed our record, Jay Rustin, and then we went in the studio with Jeff Pils and recorded the record after the record, after the record was done. We brought Johnny Martin aboard, and that's the story. Yeah. So just the, the chemistry right away. I mean, yes. you had you had the songs, and, and you got together well, and we, collaborated we, we, on the music. We put the songs together, you know, all four of us. Yeah. Actually, all five of us. But, um... I don't know. It was. I was say. As far as like having a chemistry together, it's like when oh. you met and you became fast friends. It was like when you just when, feel like yeah, you know each other. Started flowing. It, it just, was like yeah, this it was very. It came very easy, very naturally. I don't think when we were in the studio, I don't think there's a, even a professional football team ever high fived each other and said great job as many times as we did. <laughs> yeah, that, that <laughs> well, you know, we but, just had so much fun. It was and once Jeff Pilson came in, it, it was like the missing piece of the puzzle, and it just so. Came together. And on your album, you have uh, like some uh, Slash. Some Slash is playing on some. And, and John fantastic Five. John Five. Yeah. Yes. I, so, I mean, is, uh, what particular tracks are they playing on? John Five plays on a song called Good to Be Bad. And Slash plays on a song called Just Don't Ask. I love that Slash's name, like you've known Slash for a long time, and Slash's real name is Saul. Saul. Saul Hudson. I just, you know, I just. I love Sully. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I want, I want to hear more of, uh, of the album. Uh, if, the, if the song, yes. more the song that we started with. I mean, because I know some of those, some of the songs uh, in the album, can, we can't play on the radio. What, which one can of, we of, play, Lonnie? Uh, lyrical I, language. How about uh, well, Johnny saying the rest of hated, but but I kind of want to hear um, own worst enemy. Own worst oh, enemy. Oh, I'm up for anything. Own that? worst enemy. Adler. Uh, let's play. Because that has never been played on the radio. It Here never has. First oh. time. This is the first World time. World premiere. This is awesome. Hey, December 7th. This is in 1941. Right. Pearl Harbor got attacked. December 7th, 19 or 2012. Yeah. Adler takes over. Right Here it here. is. <laughs>
my oh, God. Yes. Adler. Unbelievable. <laughs> that is, uh, seriously. We got the shout out. Talk about high five. Yeah. Heidi and Frank.com. Yeah. Crazy. Going crazy. Yeah, we were going crazy in the studio after. Oh. And it's all, it's all like when we were recording it. When we were recording it, Jeff would just say, okay, little fighter. It's record. I said, oh, okay. And one, two, three. Oh, and, and what you hear is what that. we did in the studio. Oh, my God. It is incredible. It is amazing. Uh, Stephen Adler, thank you so much for coming. You guys have a show coming up. I, I, yeah. May I? Please. Yes, please, 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 do. Yes. please do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if, you got, if anybody's going to be in the L.A. area, uh, we're playing the House of Blues December 17th with the Steel Panther Kids. Um, what time's the show? Excited. What time are the doors? I think it's at 8. Okay. Eight or nine? I I I I'm. I All right. I would House say eight, nine. It's House of Blues. December it's normal 17th. Hours, December seventeenth, and we should have a uh, John Five hopefully coming down and playing the song that he plays on the record, and hopefully get Slash to come down if he's in town. That is a to night out. Song. Yeah, that that was kick ass, dude. Yeah. Seriously, I'm proud, I'm proud I mean, of you. Bravo. Thank you guys. And awesome. you guys are coming back in the, in the new year and, and hang out with us again. Uh, yeah, we, we would love that. Please, we would love that. Okay. And yeah. our and our website is adlerrocks.com. Adlerrocks.com. That was from. The yeah, album, album back brand new from album, the dead debut album, back from the dead. Great stuff. Incredible. Thank you so much. Um, Are you done with me? Uh, do you want to <laughs> hang out? We're, no. we're almost done with the show. We're almost oh, done with the show. Okay, we really quick, Hi Heidi and Frank. This go. is this is a question I've always wanted to ask. Yeah. This is Johnny. Do I really la have to listen to the whole show? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you really have to listen to the whole show. We are Heidi and Frank. Oh, that was just a little sample of the Heidi and Frank show on 95.5 KLOS. To get more samples like this and hear all the fun we have, you can do that at 955KLOS.com. Now, to get the show in its entirety, on demand, and if you want to watch the show, we webcast it every day, all you have to do is go to HeidiandFrank.com and become a premium package member. Do it right now. <laughs>